Hi guys, I am Renee with Arkansas Amdrum. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm in Little Rock, Arkansas with Mr. Walter Sims from Sims Strategic Mentoring. Yes, thank you so much for being with us today. And Mr. Sims is actually supporting my jewelry right here. He's wearing through my little plug. Okay, it's a success in the wish. Thank you for wearing it. So could you please tell us what are you doing, how you can help us? Well, I am a minister ordained in yes. the state of Arkansas, and I'm also an advocate mentor for youth and family. May I ask you, what inspired you to do this? Uh, being the mentor for the youth. This is a, not a job, that's a calling. You must have a lot of patience. Yes, yes, <laughs> I actually do. I have the patience that those that once needed it when I was young because I saw where I came from and I saw what I've been through and I knew that the young kids needed somebody that I needed when I was younger. So I try to be everything that I didn't have when I was a young man. Yeah, and look at you now, you look so strong. I bet they love hearing your stories and learning from you. And you say that you have several programs. You say that you even help kids to exercise. What is that? Well, actually I have a self-discipline defense course that I help with children. And, and the, the discipline, the co course actually is physical, psychological, social, and mental self-defense. Mm. But I also have several different types of mentoring that mentor in the schools, in the community, and the homes. That's awesome. And you say that you travel. Where do you mentor the kids? Well, actually, I mentor in the community center, and I have mentors set up in the school system that mentor in several schools throughout Little Rock and North Little Rock School District. Oh, okay. That's right. awesome. Well, thank you so much for doing it. It's very inspirational. You guys, uh, I reached out to Mr. Sims, and he's going to be one of our speakers in December, so follow us on social media. I'm, I cannot wait to hear you. Now, we are all going through a difficult time right now, a lot of changes, some good, some not so good. So. How can we go through this in a positive way? Do you have any words of encouragement to us? Well, first thing I would like to say is we must stay safe. We okay. must follow all guidelines that we need to follow in order to keep ourselves from being harmed from this sickness, this, this disease. But I, say, I also say that we need to be able to support our, our local communities and be able to support them in ways financially, uh, socially, and mentally because we all need help we all need help especially in social clubs awareness and as far as how we're how we're grouping together in the community we need to keep a togetherness in mm. our community that's right united absolutely yes. now why do you think it's important to shop local well I, mom and pop stores are suffering these days and they need that support from their community to keep thriving. Yes, especially this holiday season, you guys. Go somewhere in your local store and buy some gifts or cookies or anything in local restaurants. Oh my gosh, right. definitely go to local restaurants and enjoy it. And the local shops, they have such nice atmosphere. I know you by name, everybody's so friendly. So support them now how can people find you and how can people help you well you can find me on social media through sim strategic mentor and you can find me on any social site throughout throughout facebook actually um i actually uh, don't have a domain website set up as of this particular time but you as you find my program you can google my program and you can find any social media site for my program on there. and if you would like to apply or volunteer or donate please look me up awesome well we want to thank you so much for what you do for our community definitely selfless act you're so nice and kind and supportive and I'm so honored to even talking to you. Thank you. And uh, I wish you best of luck as you grow your program and as you change lives because you do change young lives and you shape their minds to be better leaders for our future. So thank you so much for that. Thank you. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. All right. Bye guys.